everybody. All right, so I, uh, I'm really excited for this unboxing. <laughs> it's huge. Okay, as you, as you can tell, you see some stuff here, right? Well, if I do that, just to give you all a preview, I entered a contest and I'm extremely excited because I didn't think this would happen, but I won and I was excited. And I've been wanting to do a, a new gaming monitor, so this was a win-win. I was very excited. Oh my gosh! All right, so let's get let's get to it. There's this in the back here. This thing is heavy. Okay, like it's solid. I can already tell what it is. So we're gonna open that. Now, which way is which? Okay, so up, so this is one, right? We are, we are opening this. Two, three, and four. So do I need to turn it the other way? I might have to turn this the other way. I'm gonna pause the video, I'll be right back. All right, so we're gonna open this up. It even tells you labels this side up. I don't think this is going to be ideal for me to open it right here, but uh, I'm trying. If anything, I may have to move this to the floor. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm excited. Oh wow, okay. This is like a two person job. <laughs> oh my, okay. I should have done this on the floor, y'all. Be right back. All right. <laughs> this was challenging, but I got it off of the, out of the box. And yeah, I had to do it on the floor. I'm out of breath with that one. All right. So we're just uh, unboxing everything. So if you didn't see it in my last video, these little two were an indicator of what was to come. It's the Xenion Gaming Monitor by Corsair. Oh, look at that. They have the cable management built inside of the stand here. Hold on. I'm gonna show y'all that, look at that. Cable management. That is not. Ah! <laughs> Where did it go? Oh, they slide on and off too, so just be careful. <laughs> but yeah, cable management. All right, I am gonna put this on the floor for a second because I have to assemble this. And I will be streaming with this monitor tonight. Oh, here we go, you got your HDMI cable. This is a regular HDMI cable. Personally, I won't be using this because I already have an HDMI cable set up. Um, this is a DisplayPort 1.4. I will be using this. So we're gonna take this out of the box. Now it's not long enough, but it'll be long enough for what I need. Which is totally doable. Actually, it might be long enough. We'll see. We'll see right now. Ooh, they give you a USB uh, or a Thunderbolt USB C to USB C. Ooh, this is nice. I might actually hook up the Mac Mini right next to it. That way, I can just switch and use the same display. Now I'm short. I'm five two, so like <laughs> y'all can't see it. I'm sorry. And this is as wide as the the lens goes on the iPhone um, 12. What max? So I'll be using this. Setting this aside over here. All right, so we've got our power cable and power brick. For those that are looking at what's in the box. Actually, let me just put that there. I'm gonna put this on the side here so that way I can actually set everything up. And I'll probably have to do a post setup on this. Oh, look, instructions and, oh, I'm gonna need those. 
to mount because I actually do want to use the stand, not just for the cable management, but there's this really cool feature I like. Ah, yeah, I don't want to lose those. I'm out of sorts, but I'm really excited. Okay, I'm gonna keep this in here because this box is gonna go in my closet when I'm done. All right. Oh, look, another cable for power. All right. So I'm gonna unravel this. I feel like a kid on Christmas right now. I'm super excited. And this is the base. So this thing, I actually was watching not just the live when they were showing everything on this monitor, which was a really great demonstration, but I watched uh, Jay's Two Cents and I can say he did a display of how sturdy these stoppers are. So I'm really excited about that because that means that it'll stay in place and I don't have to worry about it moving every now and then. So I'm excited about that. Hey, look at that, to tighten it, just like you do with cameras. Oh, I love that. That's a little tight on the flap, but one doesn't want the flap to break. I might have to put some oil on that though. All right, next is underneath monitor oh boy actually you know what I'm gonna be smart about this um. <laughs> okay I should have turned it the other way give me just a second y'all A screwdriver somewhere. And where the hell did I put the screws? Oh, over here. So, usually when you're screwing something in, you want to probably do it in like a diagonal manner what some people call a star manner. Uh, that's pretty tight. I love the screwdriver. I got it on Amazon. I do have some iFixit stuff somewhere around here, the tool set or whatever, but uh, this requires a bigger screwdriver. Okay, well, I'm gonna do that. Might as well just do it this way. Now, a lot of people were kind of disappointed with the gaming monitors from Corsair. This is their first iteration, you know? And uh, I could say I loved what they displayed. This thing can reach 165 hertz, which I'm excited about. It's 32 inches, so this thing is big. And most gaming is now going from 27 to 32. So this is pretty standard. It has HDR 400 or HDR 4, I guess, if you want to round it off on how the terminology is set up. But, um, you know, for it being a gaming monitor, it does not have HDMI 2.1, and that's okay. I mean, it's their first version of it. I'm sure in the near future, they may have another one. They may. But I'm just very grateful I intend to use this. And you know, I can say this is a really, really nice monitor. It's 32 inches. It's beautiful. It's nice. It's clean. It's very thin on the bezel. Because I saw the display, so I'm, I'm excited to completely like take it out now. All right. Let's do it.
I'm gonna move this out of the way. And then we're gonna unveil the monitor. If I can lift it. <laughs> All right. Like this thing is massive. Ooh, I love that it swivels. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, that's a lot of traction. That's good. Look how pretty this baby is. Now this thing is not supposed to have any dead pixels for like three years. I think they give you a warranty on it or something like that. Oh, I shocked myself. Okay, like how do I gently take this off without tearing it? Ah, up here, okay, I see it. Hold on, y'all. I'm like a, a neat freak, so like the dust and stuff. I want to get rid of it. It has one millisecond response time. It has an IPS panel. FreeSync. Oh, I'll, I'll just show you all right there. That's what it has. It has flex arm support, which we're actually going to install here very, very soon. Man, this is nice. What a pretty monitor. I don't know what that is. What is that? Hmm, it looks like a bubble or something. It's supposed to be anti-glare, so that's good. It has 100% Adobe RGB, sRGB. It has a 1000 contrast ratio and has HDMI type C, console mode input, flex arm. Uh, let's see here, IQ integration. Now you notice there's no lights in the back so you probably have to buy uh, lights. I hope to see that in future iterations of this. It has QHD, all right. Well, let's go ahead and install that flex arm thing. So for that, I mean, y'all can see that, right? Yeah, okay. We're gonna turn this for a second. And I, ooh, okay. Y'all can see this, right? <laughs> All the logos are taped up. Oh my gosh. There's nothing like that peel sound. Love it. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, take this thing out of here. And yeah, I have one of those kind of uh, screwdrivers. I love it. Okay, I have a feeling this is still supposed to go in. Yep, it still does. And I do actually have a flex mount. I had a flex mount L a long time ago. And that's what I've been using with my face cam. The face cam is going to be mounted right here. So I'm really excited about this feature that's built into the base, the stand. I'm really, look how sturdy that is already. Oh, oh okay, hold on. I might have to do it that way because you know what? You can move this. Up. Oh, wow, that's that's sturdy <laughs> or down. Oh, okay, so this is the highest it goes So then let's do the face cam right there Oh boy. I'm excited because I feel like a little kid on Christmas right now Yeah, that's the face cam y'all Oh, that's gonna be awesome, look at that. All right, so I've gotta move this stuff out of the way real quick. I'm just gently turning this because this thing is sturdy. Oh, there's a peel right here too. Can I grab it? There. I cut my nails short every time they get long because I don't like having long nails. 
Ah, makes me wonder how I'm going to have my viewing and how much to raise or not. But it swivels. And this is a solid base, so I don't have to worry about it like jiggling or anything. I love that. All right, I'm going to get this plugged in and set up so that way I can stream later tonight. Thank you all for tuning in and watching the Corsair Zinion unboxing. And I'm, I'm very grateful to Corsair for this. Thank you so much. And if you like what you saw, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, everybody.